Welcome to my top 10 facts about Bannerlord. If I missed anything about these facts, make sure to leave it in a comment down below. Also, if you want to share anything cool that I missed, do the same. Enjoy. Number 1. A dynamic world map. This new world map for Calradia is a lot more dynamic than Warband. The map now has seasons and will reflect that during the cold and hot months. Also, you will be able to build up your villages and possibly construct castles. It will be visible from the world map and the bird's eye view. Number 2. Minor Factions I covered this in a previous video, but there will be more to just the major factions in the game. There will now be minor factions that hold small bits of power throughout the map. Although they have been confirmed for the game, we still don't have any info on them or how they will work. Number 3. Customizable Maps Showcased in some of the earliest footage released, Bannerlord will now have the ability to customize your own maps, playing with the terrain, foliage, props, and possibly even buildings. You will be able to adjust the time and weather of the maps, and even the season. If it is set to winter and high rain, it will be heavily snowing. Custom Maps leads us into the next fact of the list, which is number 4, a playback system, which will allow you to go back and watch a battle take place, and do lots more things with the footage. This will help people who want to create machinimas, or want to recreate battles from Game of Thrones. It allows free camera angles, so you are not just locked on to one person's point of view. Number 5, Custom Weapons As you have probably already seen from the PC Gamer demos, there is the ability to customize your own weapon to your own liking. A naming system is now available as well, so you will always know that it is yours. With custom weapons, you will be able to adjust size, damage, speed, weight, etc. and will add a way more personal experience to the game. Number 6. Interactive Towns and Cities In Warband, towns and cities were not really seen as towns and cities, more just menus that you had to stop by once in a while in order to get equipment and money. Now, they are designed to be more interactive and invite you to explore every corner and talk to everyone you find. You can now garrison troops in them without giving your army to another lord, and the towns can be massively built up. Number 7, Crime Speaking of towns and cities, a new aspect of the game has been added, organized crime. You can sometimes come across gangs, and either fight them to serve justice, or help them and make a little extra cash. You can also kill them to create your own crime money making business, which will get you more money, but could ruin your relation with the lord of that area. Number 8, Larger Battles No official numbers have come in yet, but we do know that Bannerlord will have much larger battles and troop capacity than Warband could have ever dreamed of. In the Warband campaign, the max amount of units on the field was a meager 150. When asked what the number for Bannerlord will be, they said that they still can't answer that question, but they know it will be far more than Warband. In the Siege demo, we saw at least 350 troops just on one side. Number 9, Better Sieges Speaking of the siege, we now have better siege weapons, and better sieges in general. The whole system has been redone. You can now place where you want each of your weapons, like your battling ram, ladders, siege towers, catapults, and ballistas. You can also plan where you want your troops to attack from to find the best advantage. Number 10. It's finally coming out. Even though there is still no release date, they have said that they are trying to get it to our hands sometime this year, whether that is a beta or a final game. Anyone else? Okay, um, have we got a release date yet? How long before I'll be able to say, <laughs> shut up and take my money? <laughs> we were waiting for this question. Um, okay. Uh, so, w we're, we're, we want to have it in some form, whether it's, whether it's beta or how, how, whatever we do, we, we want to have it in some form in the player's hands uh, this year. That's what we're going for. Um, but we, it's, it's not a guarantee, but that's what we're, that's what we're shooting for. Okay, that, that, that's good. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like. It supports my channel. And to subscribe if you're new. And comment anything if I missed something big that you wanted me to mention in this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.